development presentation, we're going to be talking about a couple different things. So for our big presentation, we're going to be talking about job embedded training, funds of knowledge, cultural values, community, where funds of knowledge and cultural values meet, classroom examples, effects in the classrooms, differentiation and how we use it in the classroom, the relationships between those different things, activities in the classroom, and how training can help teachers and students find success. So here is a revised graph from the part one of the first assignment we did of job embedded training. As you can see from the graph, we ran a survey that talked about a couple different questions. First question being the instructional strategies to use in a classroom. The majority of the staff decided that they agree that these types of things do help in the classroom. As an educator, I strive to better myself and my students each day. The large percentage of the survey results showed that most teachers strongly agree that these types of trainings actually do help in the classroom, while the following agree. There were no negative results. Differentiation helps my students find success in the classroom. This was an even split between agree and strongly agree, which are always good results. Community backgrounds and engagement are important in the classroom and environment. We had a bit of a mix here. The majority going with strongly agree, some going with agree. We did have a strong setting for neutral and then a few that did disagree with that. Then your classroom excels in using funds of knowledge and cultural values. Stronger agree was there again, but the big one was agree with a few that were on the neutral side. The difference between this revised graph and the one that we had in the original presentation was that included specific subjects such as math, science, and English. What I did with this one is I shortened the topics, made them a little more uh, specific about the different things we were talking about and less about specific subjects. So. What is job embedded training? Job embedded professional development refers to teacher learning that is grounded, real world based, reflects day to day practices within the classroom, enhances teachers' content and instructional practices, and also can be content or subject specific instruction. The overall goal of the job embedded training is to provide teachers with the necessary tools to improve student learning. Funds of knowledge. Funds of knowledge are a collaboration between the classroom and family practices that use skills and knowledge that were developed to enable an individual to operate within a given classroom. Examples of fu funds of knowledge could be learning how to make food from scratch, learning a new sport or exercise, learning how to fix issues in your house or with your car, learning how to solve a math or science equation, using the knowledge gathered to create culturally relevant experiences through writing. These activities are culturally relevant, creates diversity in the classroom, understanding of students through a deeper meaning, creates fun, safe, and a positive learning environment. Okay, what exactly are funds of knowledge? In education, has created the confidence of information a person has or had with different classes throughout their education. This knowledge can also come from experience outside of the classroom when children are young, as they begin to fill this fund of knowledge with the information from the family, community, and early education. A student's fund of knowledge influences their learning by providing the prior knowledge or experience that they've had and applying them to the new and upcoming concepts and skills that they're learning. As an educator, it's very important to understand the student's level of experience they've had with the material and how comfortable they are. This will provide the teacher with the knowledge of the student, how the student learns, and what will be the best way to teach that new information to the student. This will assist the student in understanding the new concepts and advancing what they already know. In addition, this will help the teacher set realistic expectations and for the class throughout the school year. Making topics relatable to the students is a great way to pique their interest and have them retain information for a later period. What are cultural values? These are values that are the core principles and ideals upon which an entire community exists. So each school is different, each student is different. These values consist of multiple aspects that include family traditions, religion, family beliefs, ethics, and community beliefs. Community background. Education and community is what provides students with the stability, confidence, and the drive to improve themselves. Community background is key to our future students as they set examples as to what our students can become. 
community helps protect the school and the students from our outside negativity and distractions. Provides the school with knowledge of the family and background information to the students, and also recognizing the important relationships. Um, provides a fair, unbiased education for all. How funds of knowledge and cultural values intersect. Well, funds of knowledge and cultural values intersect by improving students inside and outside the classroom, creating a safe environment for educational practices, religious beliefs, family values, providing a common relationship between educators, students, their families, previous knowledge, learn, uh, learn and beliefs and values of life and education. So, an example in the classroom. Myself, being a health and physical education teacher, it's important to test my students' prior knowledge as it shows their skill level, their interest in the activities, and what type of techniques I need to use to teach them the skills. For the students who have a great deal of knowledge, I use them as helpers to assist their classmates during activities in order to maximize my area in the gym. Anybody want to add how they would use this funds of knowledge in the classroom? Mr. Presley, in math? Um, how would I use this? Um, pre-test, oh, so the math class, uh, just pre-assessments, just finding out where my students are at in skill level, uh, as far as differentiated instruction, um, I usually do small groups, okay. um, to see and combine them together to see where they're at, um, so they can build on their math levels. Awesome. That's great. Those are good examples. Okay. Examples in the classroom of cultural values. Student experiences. So, providing a safe space for students so they can explore their personal and social issues in their lives. For, provide a safe and fun learning environment where students feel cared for and respected. Also, teachers learn facts about students such as their favorite sports, hobbies, and other activities that students like to participate in. All right, uh, an example, the classroom of community backgrounds. So, you know, at our school, we use Male and Female Leadership Day. This offers two specific days during the year. Members of the community can come out to help educate our students. It provides students with the knowledge about school, life, and making good decisions in order to be successful in the future. These events honor the community, alumni, and everyone looking to better the school. And the students are able to relate to adults who once were in the exact position they were in the same neighborhood or school. The effects of cultural values and community backgrounds have on learning, well, they add and provide stability, confidence, safety, ident identity, leadership, open communication with families, volunteers, and collaboration between families and the school. The effects are very positive and provide our youth with much needed support in order to find success. So differentiated instruction. The framework or teaching philosophy used to provide all students within, within their diverse classroom community of learners a multitude of different avenues for learning and understanding. So better assess their classroom in order to know the learner, assess the learner, adjust the assignments given, provide answers to the strategies, and properly approach the curriculum being used. The relationship between funds of knowledge, cultural values, community background, and differentiated instruction. Well, they focus on helping educators improve in order to better their students. They focus on building a bridge between the school and the community to create support. They focus on providing the teachers with alternate ways to educate their students and create a fun, safe, and engaging environment. They also focus on a place where everyone is accepted no matter their beliefs, values, ethics, or backgrounds. The ultimate goal is to educate our youth because, as my school's mission statement says, today is scholars, tomorrow is leaders.